Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh um, Today we will study about learning Learn about science year 4 uh, Part 1 Week 13 Before that we start with Dua Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rabbi shrahli sadri Wa yasirli amri Wa hlulung dan tamini sani Yafkahu kawli Rabbi zidni ilma Wa rzukni fahma Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen So how's everyone? Um, I hope all of you are in good con uh, good health So the topic for today is Heat energy Now we shall learn about Sources of energy now our objective is to identify and describe sources of energy to see to find out and to tell me what are the sources of energy before that we learn about sources of energy now what is heat energy now we have learned that now remember we have learned that there are six types of energy the first one is heat energy and then light energy and sound energy then stored energy and what else movement energy and electrical energy so we what we need to learn is heat energy this week we will learn about heat energy what is heat energy heat energy is a form of energy that make things warm it make things warm what does heat where does heat energy comes from heat energy comes from sources of heat now there must be a source from where the heat comes from a source of heat means something that gives out heat on its own now an object or a thing that can make heat on its own it's called sources of energy now look at this picture can you identify source of heat check the answer yes here the BBQ stand and here the same thing BBQ now I know the chicken might be hot but it is not source of heat how about second picture which one is the source of heat where does the heat comes from is it from the lemon? No. Let's take a look. This stove. Not this. The stove. The stove um, is a source of heat. And the oven is a source of heat. Next. Source of heat energy. Our main source of heat energy is the sun. The sun is our number one source of heat energy the sun provide us with heat energy with the heat energy to stay warm i'm sorry with just one heat energy i'm sorry for that the sun provide us with heat energy to st stay warm enough to make us warm hot actually in brunei darussalam it's hot but it's hot is good warm is good too now let's take this is a sun and look here this is the earth and this is the sun the sun is very big it's a big ball of gas it burns all the time now this is the sun and sun always gives us heat energy always next what happen if there is no heat from the sun if there is no sun what happen no sun 
or no heat from the sun. Look here. This is a place which is on earth but far away from us. Look here again. Here, six or seven months with sun and with heat, and here, five to six months with no sun. This place is called Salvat Norway. Salvat Bird Norway. So, this place, every year, five to six months, there will be no sunrise. And when there's no sunrise, there's no sun, there's no heat energy. When there is no heat energy, it will be very cold like this, ice. When there's sun, it'll be warm, grass can grow here. Uh, with no ice and this one no sun dark and cool now other sources of heat energy would be can anyone think about other sources of heat energy there are many more like electricity can also be a source of energy like this one toaster we use electricity and electricity will uh, help to roast the bread and also oven we use electricity in the electric kettle and hair dryer there are many more electricity can be used for heat energy and these are called electrical appliances. Toasters, kettles, hair dryers, and microwaves are example of electrical appliances that produce heat energy. How do they produce heat energy? They use electricity. Now remember what we have learned. Electrical energy is changed to heat energy using these electrical appliances now next another source of en heat energy would be burning fuel when we burn something it will gives out heat energy now we have learned that fuel contain stored energy but what is fuel Fuel are example wood log, petrol and diesel fuel, kerosene, kerosene, uh, kerosene is a kind of oil. Before there is electricity, people will burn kerosene in this kerosene lamp, and it will give out light and heat a lit a lot of heat actually it's hot actually you don't touch a kerosene lamp now these three are called fuel when fuel are burned this stored energy is changed into heat energy now remember we have learned that um for people Food is also a stored energy. Food like rice. Rice is stored energy for people only. We do not burn rice. We eat rice. And rice do not give heat energy in our body. They gives out energy, yes, but not like this not like wood log not like petrol and diesel fuel and not like kerosene this stored energy ah one more and battery battery is stored energy but it is not called fuel um there are newer cars new cars which uses electricity and they call it 
fuel cells for cars not our battery we don't call like this phone the battery is a fuel cell for my phone no we call it battery yes and we don't burn the battery for heat energy we use the battery for electrical energy not heat it gives out a little heat but we don't burn the battery stored energy inside now remember for this fuel stored energy will change to heat energy now next source of heat energy would be friction now the question is what is friction friction occurs whenever two surfaces rub against each other when two surfaces rub against each other it's called friction heat is produced by friction example rubbing your hands for a few seconds when you rub your hand it will we will feel warm on the palm of your hands I like this and it is heat produced by friction now only your hands no there are many more have you seen on the TV they want to make fire and they rub wood with wood like this there's a wood and they long stick and they turn it like this and the wood um, they make fire from the wood stick that is called heat by friction making fire from friction using wood so remember friction is a source of heat energy you will feel your hands become warm if you rub metal it become hot if you rub wood not with your hand wood with wood it'll make fire now do your exercise that i provided and thank you for watching assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh